All right, Shalom Shalom Ball is here. I uh, was able to get a uh, J Lab so that everybody can hear me nice and clear because what I'm about to talk about is very important. What I'm about to talk about uh, is is so relevant in this day and age, and it seems as though we get we understand biblical marriage, but it seems as though in this hour that we're living in we skirt biblical responsibilities now what do i mean by that um when you take on a wife and you have children that's a major responsibility and some men uh it seems that a lot of men especially in israel uh seem to want to tout and stick out their chest and talk about how much of a man they are and how much polygyny is uh, a birthright uh, our custom but it seems that nobody in this day and age and i'm talking about pastors on down want to talk about the responsibilities associated with family here we have and what i'm going to do uh going forward uh because see I'm beyond the concept of talking directly to Rufus because uh, he has a reprobate mind. Uh, it's been proven that he's a pathological liar. Uh, he was just on a broadcast uh, a, a couple of days ago. I mean, just lying. And it seems as though this man will get on any broadcast. I don't care if these people got five subscribers, ten subscribers, or a thousand. He'll get on there and he'll lie. With, with with no conscience whatsoever. Uh, and any time he attempts to tell the truth. Is to make himself look good. But we realize. Uh, that uh, anything that's coming out of his mouth. Any accusation that he hurls. At others. He's guilty of himself. But. What I wanted to do was take the time out to address Rufus's Carlswell's four wives. Uh, Jennifer, Chandre, Bonnie, and I understand that he's uh, a fourth wife, which is about 60 years old, on or about. Uh, and these are his wives. And the sad thing about it is that now that this man... Uh, has no position and title because, see, women are attracted to men with position and title. But being that this man no longer has position and title, um, the whole premise uh, for uh, women being attracted to him is over because his whole crying, um, uh, his whole uh, fame to glory uh, was through another man's back. Pastor Charles Dow. He's nothing on himself. He can't produce anything. He can't build anything. He can't create anything. He can't in implement anything. Uh, he can't grow anything. And that's pretty much evident uh, by the fact that he was on just an acre or whatever of land that Pastor Dow and the Saints purchased for him. And he can't produce it himself. I say these things to say that now that this is all over, he's all out there alone and he's not a real man. He can't build or create anything. He can't go out there and start a successful business like I have. He can't start or implement or build anything or be up under the tutelage of anybody uh, that's going to teach him something like I have. He can't produce any fruit like I have, whether it's growing vegetables in a field or, or fruit on a field or hunting or, or raising animals. He can't do any of this stuff. He's not a real shepherd. If I no longer have sheep because it's been established that I've been a shepherd uh, of sheep uh, and I'm successful at this going on eight years now but if i no longer have a flock does that continue to make me a shepherd you, you see how this works 
So I'm addressing his wives, Sister Jennifer, Chandra, Bonnie, and a 60-year-old one. Does he have any life insurance just in case anything happens to him? What is his plan to make sure that him and his children are taken care of in event that anything happens for him? Because obviously he's morbidly obese. Obviously the man is not capable of taking care of himself, let alone four wives. And it is abundantly clear now that the only reason why he got these wives is due to the simple fact that he was associated with straightway ministries headed by Pastor Charles Dow. If he was out there on his own, he could not pull nor take care of any of these women. It's a known fact that he showed up um, at the ministry with everything he owned and his wife in a car. This is this is this is out there. This is fact. This is not slander. This is a this is a historical fact. Does he take care of himself? When was the last time he been to? To get a physical. The man obviously is not physically healthy. Sister Jennifer Chandra and Sister Bonnie. What is this man's ability to take care of you? Let alone a 60 year old woman on or about. She may be 59 or 60 or 61. But this is what I'm getting from the people that is giving me this information. Can he take care of this household now that he doesn't have the backing of a real man? It's obviously that he can't. And this goes to a larger issue. See, this is why I'm using Rufus Caldwell as a good example of men that are not capable of taking care of his first wife, let alone three other women. Now that he's out there on the streets alone, what happens to him if something if something goes wrong, if he falls ill? Does he have a life insurance policy? Does he have uh, a will or trust anything set up so that his wife and his children are taken care of? Why isn't it that nobody talks about these kind of things? It's sad. We just recently had a brother, uh, a so-called Israelite. And his son passes away and he's on Facebook uh, with a $20,000 request to bury his child. I mean, it really is sad. Now, we all know that it don't take $20,000 to bury anybody. And we all know the man ain't got no job. See, this is the problem that we're having in Israel. We have these men that get up and they want to play polygyny. But their children and their wife and their children are living in literal poverty now. And they don't have any life. Uh, hey, uh, I have a life insurance policy. I have a life insurance policy on my wife. It's not as big as the one that I have on myself. But I can ensure that my children and my wife is taken care of because the land is paid for. We're recently about to get some goats. We have sheep. Plenty of food in the freezers, plenty of food in the pantry, plenty of food in the storehouse. I don't have to worry about anything. And my wife is, doesn't have to worry about anything. You sisters out there, instead of getting with these Bible bums that get up and talk sweet to you, but can't take care of you and take can't, can't take care of your children that they're producing with you, you got to be a prat and fool, a literal prat and fool. If your husband, if you ain't got a life insurance policy on your husband, that man is totally out of order. He is totally and completely out of order. It pretty much is sad. Are these things in place?
there needs to be rules and regulations of this kind of stuff because it seems as though everybody's just taking a wife or wives and don't have the ability to provide for them in this life or when they pass away. It's pretty much as sad that, that the new life insurance or the new borough policy is GoFundMe. The new life insurance policy is GoFundMe for a lot of people. Somebody pass away, Oh, I need money. I mean, it's so pathetic how people will get on and traipse around and market their children for gain. I mean, you got to be a real despicable man in the mind to do that. Sister Jennifer, Sister Sandra, because see, this is this is grounds. If this man can't, uh, he's covering a 60 year old woman. Can he take care of this woman? Can he take care of himself? Does he have the finances to back it up? Because, see, it's been established, Sister Jennifer, Sandre, and Bonnie, that he was taking you on these trips and treating you well and feeding y'all steaks and everything on other people's money. Sooner or later, that other people's money is going to run out. What is this man going to do? Listen here. Listen here. If you need moving expenses, if you need moving expenses for Je uh, Sister Jennifer Sandra and Sister Bonnie, I will pay for your moving expenses. If you need to go back to straightway, because see, he wouldn't be with you if it wasn't for the express approval of Pastor Charles Dow. The man is not capable. This is, this is serious real talk. And y'all know what kind of man y'all laying next to. Instead of getting out there busting his ass and getting a job and lying about having a job. Listen here. Listen here. I ain't got to lie about nothing. I got a website. Covenant Contracting Services. This is my business. Right here. One of my little dusty business cards. But that's my business right there. Real skills, baby. See, I can prove to you what I did. In corporate America, I can prove to you what I did. Oh, that was my, that wasn't even my last, my job before last. But I can prove to you with business cards. I can prove to you with resumes. Rufus said he got two resumes. Do you know, see, I, I come from the HR background. I used to implement HR systems, integrate systems, third-party systems uh, uh, within the HR space. Ceridian, PeopleSoft, Paychex, uh, uh, ADP. Uh, you see my son just, just barge in here. But see, the idea is that regardless of what's going on, my family's taken care of. Many of you women, you're getting out here and you're, you're, you're getting up with these men and, and all they have is they got the Bible and they got words. But what happens if something happens to them? What happens? It really is sad. Yeah. You know what happens if, if, if somebody doesn't have life insurance and they don't have a, a will or a deed? It goes to probate court. It goes to probate. And you have no say-so authority at all. If you don't have something set up, see, you don't necessarily have to have a, um, what you call it, uh, excuse me for one second. Going back. Oh, y'all outside, huh? Be careful. You don't necessarily have to have a marriage license. But I would definitely suggest that you have some type of contract or some type of a, a documentation that says, listen here, in the event that something happens to Rufus, that this is what is to happen. Because he's going to run out of other people's money. And we both know Jennifer and Chandra and Bonnie, you know the kind of boot liquor you laid up with. You know damn well that that man ain't going to offer up no money. You see what happened with Jamie, Jamie Plum. He did, 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 turned around and gave money to turn around. 
I tell you, man, this shit is funny. You think Rufus Coswell is going to go out with Ringo Jingo TV and, 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 and New Breed and go out and, and, and build community? You think he going to do that? Of course he ain't. See, what he attempted to do, which he failed miserably, is to go and build a ministry on the back of another man's work. Failed miserably. See, this is grounds for divorce. See, sisters, if y'all need help moving, we can help you. And I'm pretty sure um, uh, 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 that folks there, that I don't know which one is, is the daughter of the, uh, uh, of the wife that... Um, uh, the daughter uh, uh, of the young girl, or, or the, the not young girl, I'm sorry, take that back, uh, uh, of the young lady that Pastor Dow married. But hey, you're you're in a sinking ship, all three of you, Jennifer, Sandre, Bonnie, and the city, y'all all in a sinking ship. You know it in your heart. See, I'm the kind of man that I ain't going to go behind another man's back like this dog does. I'm going to do it right there in the open. I'm going to do it right here in the open. It's pretty much sad. The quality of so-called leaders we got in Israel today. This man cannot support you. This man cannot take care of you. You know it. Have him pull up the documentation. Have him show the life insurance policies. Have him show the deeds. Have him show the wills. Have him show the trust. Because... Something happened to this man, y'all finished. Y'all finished. No, as a matter of fact, you finished before because he can't provide you with anything. After he runs out of all of the money that he got from the saints, he's finished. He ain't building no ministry. I ain't got to wait three years to see what he going to do. I know what he's doing now. I've been calling this, his, this, this, this dog's moves. Ever since I've been calling this, I'd have known he was a shyster and a fraud when I met him many years ago. Nothing but a smooth talking shyster and a fraud. And you know what all he got? Ass kissing. That's all he can do. Y'all know it. So, Sister Jennifer, you know it. Sandre, Bonnie, you know it. You know it. All he can produce. Is kissing another man's ass and hey, pass it down. You don't need that. He done for. You better make sure, and all you women out there, y'all, you better make sure you got a real man that know how to take care of business financially. Cause I guarantee you, ninety nine percent of you, you don't. These dogs and these pigs, and they get out here and they talk about polygyny and bi biblical marriage, but they broke and they destitute. How in the hell you going to have two, three wives and you working a low slave wage job? You got to be out of your damn mind. Y'all going to work. Yeah, he going to have y'all working. Jennifer, Sandra, Bonnie. Yeah, y'all working. Y'all supposed to be chase keepers at home. My wife hadn't worked many years. About six months after we, uh, after we got married, she was she was a full time wife. Hadn't worked a day since. Life insurance, land paid for. Are y'all getting this? I ain't even talking to that pig and that dog anymore. He finished. He done for. And many of you all, you, you women out there, hey, it's sad that the sorry ass piece of trash shit crap man that you think you got. Oh, you got. Because he can't handle financial business. It's just, a, it's just a hardcore truth. That nobody don't want to talk about. Because we busy doing this. But when it comes down to the paperwork. When it comes down to making sure that everything is taken care of with these women. They ain't doing it. Because you know why? They thinking about the, the, the five to seven minutes worth of pumps that they get to get off you. And a gallivant around and say how they much polygynous men ask them for a life insurance policy. These niggas is broke. They dusty. They dusty. Dusty ass, broke ass, Hebrew men, so-called Hebrew men. 
I know it's an uncomfortable thing to review. This 60 year old woman, how, how are you going to take care of her? Y'all better jump ship. Jump ship. Don't worry. Hey, you want to go back uh, uh, to where you came from? Go back to where you came from. But this man is not capable of taking care of you. Y'all know it in your heart. You know it in your heart. He ain't shit. And all you other men out there that ain't shit also. That's calling yourselves real men. But you can't even take care of the basic responsibilities of your wives or your wife. It's amazing how these men get on camera and want to teach you something. But when you look at the mannerism of their lifestyle, they full of shit. It really is sad. Hey, I ain't got to go behind nobody's back. I'm talking to you directly, Sister Jennifer, Chandra, and Bonnie. You better make sure the shit is in order because your ass is on the line. And that's just real talk. Real talk.